it's time to roll for Trucko. Subscribe. Welcome to Roll for Trucko. This is Frank. Now, a while ago, I, I made a video where I used the basic fantasy 4th edition core rulebook. Check out my stickers. I bought these on Timo. <laughs> not, not this. <laughs> so, uh, so I used the core rule book and I, I wrote a, a character, but I used the uh, Barkling stat block, uh, a monster stat block, uh, to create a playable uh, Barkling uh, character, and you know turned out to be a magic user, a magic user named Reno, and that was the, the video I had done. So this is a follow up to that, and here's Reno's. Uh, spell book and howls is misspelled uh, in in story in character uh, there's a reason it's misspelled uh, in real life it's I just I just misspelled it <laughs> I decided to give it that little you know, a little reason why it's like that but here he is uh, Reno the magic user and uh, the dog species that I used was a chow. Uh, and Reno is, uh, at least the character design is uh, loosely based on a chow, a mixed chow that I had named Reno. Uh, and I also had other uh, chows that were from his lineage. So, so I thought, you know, I'd, I'd keep that lineage going, even though I don't have those dogs anymore. But uh, keep, keep it alive. With Reno the magic user. Now I have his stats here because of the character I want to use. So it was just luck of the dice, I guess, that uh, <laughs> it, was ma it was magic user stats. So. His armor class, equipment, all that. I got his spells here. Uh, right now he's read magic and floating disc, which I made to look like a frisbee. Now, that's Reno, the magic user. Uh, there is a video, so you can go watch that. You don't need to uh, watch that, though, but there is a video in the description below. Now, in that video, I had either asked or asked for suggestions on the, you know, what would be a dog species that I could use to turn into a barkling. And uh, I might have asked what class. Uh, I think I was leaning towards just doing a fighter anyway, but so someone in the chat or in, not the chats in the comments said uh, a sheepdog fighter would be cool, and that was peculiar notions. So peculiar notions, thank you for that suggestion, and and that's exactly what I did. So here is the sheepdog fighter. Now let's dive into this Barkling Fighter, or more specifically, a Sheepdog Fighter. Again, Peculiar Notions, thank you. Thank you for the suggestion. Now first, it you know didn't, didn't really look like a Sheepdog, but that's because I was just laying down the foundation. I liked the majority of how the drawing looked, but I just went back and added those uh, Sheepdog features, and I added the color scheme, you know, just uh, grayish grayish maybe a little bit black not too much and white so really i just you know just shading <laughs> that that's mostly what what it was and this, he's going to be an npc i decided you know what he'll he'll be better as an npc and he is the pack brother to reno the magic user uh, are they Blood brothers? Half brothers? Hmm. Well, that will be told another time. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Once I put him in a game, all, all that detail will be fleshed out. I introduce you to my Barkling Fighter. Woof! That was the Sheepdog Fighter, or uh, the Barkling Fighter. Again, I used uh, the stats from... Basic Fantasy, fourth edition, right there. And here is 
what the Berkeley looks like. And there's the step rock. That was my uh, sheepdog fighter. And I like how it came out. Let me know in the comments what you think. Now, I did leave him nameless uh, because I might either, uh, once I... I I, I do a, a storyline, a, a storyline, a campaign, a, a game. Uh, I might let the players name him, but I am leaning towards uh, letting my kids name him. Uh, I could do a, a campaign with them, but my kids aren't here. <laughs> so, but I'll probably just shoot them a text and say, hey, what would you name this character? So I might have a name pretty soon. Now, I like the idea that he's a sheepdog. Uh, I, I just think the Shaggy DA was a, a pretty cool movie. I mean, I saw it when I saw I've seen uh, most of them, but uh, you know, since when I was a kid, and I thought you know, they look like nice dogs. Uh, I never had a sheepdog, but uh, when it was suggested, like, you know, hey, yeah, that that will be that will be interesting having that as a fighter. And uh, I think, you know, being a sheepdog, it gives him that instinct to want to protect and, uh, you know, want to, you know, be there for his, uh, his, his brothers, uh, pack brothers, his, his uh, owner, and just, the, you know, the community of, of Barclays and whoever, you know, he deems worthy to be uh, his friend. So, so, you know, I, I like, I like, I like that it's a sheepdog, so you know, he, he wants to protect, but you know he'll he'll fight and he'll defend. So whether that's true about actual sheepdogs, I don't know. I just <laughs> it's just what came to mind. Now I'm gonna be. I'll probably do the other two classes: uh, thief and cleric. I kind of have a cleric, uh, but that's for another time. But I'll probably do a, just a new character uh, for Cleric and Thief. Whether they're NPCs or playable characters, that, that'll, that'll be... Uh, I'll decide that later on. Uh, if, if I'm going to make them NPCs, I probably don't need to roll stats for them. But, you know, I kind of want to. <laughs> I will be doing uh, some videos later on, uh, creating a character from for Basic Fantasy, uh, but using those stats uh, and not converting a monster into a playable character. <laughs> so I think that will be a a good video for you know people getting into Basic Fantasy. So. A little plug for Basic Fantasy for the Facebook group and the Discord group. Uh, I'm in both. I'm a member of both. I'm also on the forums, but you know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm just there. I'm, I'm a consumer. <laughs> you can get the core rulebook and plus tons of supplements uh, for free as P as PDFs on BasicFantasy.org. And if you join the Facebook group and the Discord, uh, it's a good community. I posted up uh, my Sheepdog Fighter up well, on both, uh, and I got some really good compliments. Someone in the Facebook group was saying that he he this looks like something that will be in He-Man, <laughs> like like there could be an action figure uh, made of. Uh, of made of my Barkling uh, sheepdog fighter. <laughs> and that's cool because I, I am a fan of He-Man. So I think subconsciously, you know, I, I use some He-Man-esque designs. <laughs> Except I made him, you know, very furry because, you know, he's a sheepdog. Lots of fur. Lots, lots of fur. <laughs> uh, a shaggy dog. <laughs> so if you're looking for a community, the basic fantasy community is pretty cool. And uh, speaking of communities, the Old Swords Rain uh, community is just starting. So you want to jump into a community where you know it's early on, people are still joining. 
check that out as well. This has been Frank Salazar for Roll for Chiraco, and we'll see you next time. It's time to Roll for Chiraco. Subscribe.